my favorite. One of my favorites. And also I'm quite like particular about foods that I do love. Especially for laksa, there will be only like special occasions that I will eat it. So or, or special like certain restaurants. The Owl Cafe Laksa is pretty good, so definitely coming back here for this. Yeah, a lot of people might be surprised at the Ang Mo Lai spicy food, but actually in the UK where I'm from, Indian food is huge. It's almost considered like the national dish. So curry like this I love. I especially love bread. So like naan bread or regular bread with curry, best. Chicken tikka. Um, my wife's name is Tika, so we always have a laugh. <laughs> Do you want some chicken, Tika? <laughs> I've always been um, into making my own, my own salad since I was maybe about 15. I'm not like a typical skinny girl, right? But I was quite curious to try this one. I've never seen no hyang in a salad like this before, so I'm not sure whether to put chili sauce or salad dressing, but um, no hyang is one of my favorite things. But of course, as everybody says, my grandmother makes the best one. Yeah. Best no hyang, so. Nobody in my family makes no hyang, so you should uh, send some over when your <laughs> grandma makes it. Alright, <laughs> Popo, got, got an order for you to work on? Yes, please, Popo, thanks. <laughs> you know what's crazy? What? Think of how many chicken wings are served every day in the world. Okay, there are more chicken than there are like human beings on this planet. Chickens only have two wings. How many chickens are there? Yeah. <laughs> Check out the Angmo here, using cutlery for his yeah. chicken wings. Use your fingers! <laughs> It looks a bit messy though. We're all savages under nature. As an Angmo in Singapore, um, my personal taste, I don't really like laksa. Okay. Because, um, I'm not a big coconut fan. Well, you like curry, there's coconut in curry. Yeah, I know, man. but laksa's taking it too far. See, this is Shan, right? Like, he doesn't like blue cheese, but blue cheese with buffalo wings is okay. He doesn't like coconut, but coconut in your curry, your chicken curry is fine. And then he's got all kinds of other quirks. Like, he likes fruit but not with his food. So like if I were to make a salad for him, like cranberries with a salad, no cannot. Oh. Because, I'm, very, yeah. I'm very segregationalist. <laughs> vegetables stick with vegetables, fruit sticks with fruit. Foodist, you're a foodist. Well, so now that he's dissed my laksa, I'm gonna diss your pizza, right? So I love pizza, but I only take the top off. Yeah, see, that's not really <laughs> pizza. Cheryl, in her quest to be healthy, doesn't want to eat the carb. The bread, so she just yeah. eats the top of a pizza, leaving the bare naked bread beneath. Maybe I'll have like one slice of the full pizza, but then after that, I'm just picking the top off. That's yeah, so combining prata and duck. And duck. I love duck. I think duck is really underrated in yes. the chicken in the in the world of Poultry. of meat. You know, <laughs> it's like an underrated actor. It's like Brad Pitt. He's actually a really good actor. It's not like the big flashy chicken, you know, the Leonardo DiCaprio's. <laughs> I suppose this is one of my weird quirks. Like, I love soup and gravies, but not so much. Like, the noodles is just there to, like, have a little bit of. But I just like the gravy. And I could have more laksa gravy if they'd let me, but... So even, like, if I order Yong Tao Fu, I'll just have the ingredients and a lot of soup, but no noodles. It's just my preference. I, I just prefer gravy and laksa gravy is the bomb. Mmm. <laughs> I am in love with my pasta. I am having a relationship with my pasta. You look like you're breaking up with your pasta. What's the matter? I can't. You can't? Why? I put on like 10 pounds. I've got this, this body part here. What do you call it? A muffin top? It's okay, I have one too. 